Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is KMZ and today this is going to be my video showing you how to install 4.87 Hen onto any PS3, whether it's a fat, slim, or super slim. This also works to update your PS3 that was on a previous version of Hen. You can follow the exact same steps to update to 4.87. So if you already had, let's say 4.85 or 4.86 already installed on your Hen PS3, you can follow these exact same steps to update to 4.87. Also, we will be focusing on the alternate method of installing Hen. It's pretty much the same thing. The only difference is we just have to take a couple little extra steps, which really add up to being like 30 seconds more of time, if that. But this will install Hen from a file that is downloaded into your PS3, as opposed to installing Hen from the server. This may increase your chances of having a successful Hen installation without having to do it multiple times. The other thing is it's a little bit more secure when you're installing Hen from a file that is within your PS3, as opposed to it being located somewhere else during that process anything can go wrong something can happen to your internet connection maybe their servers may go down momentarily and if that happens while hen is installing in your system yeah something can maybe go screwy in your ps3 and you definitely don't want that so this makes it just a little bit safer to do it this way you will need to install hfw as of right now the latest one is 4.87 you will need a usb storage device formatted to fat32 your ps3 will need to be connected to the internet Internet, make absolutely sure before you start this process that you are not connected and logged in to PSN. In the future, if any of this stuff updates, you're going to follow the exact same steps to update your HEN or to install HEN into a system. Just use the latest HFW that will be out at the time. Okay, let's go ahead and let's get started by downloading HFW 4.87. All right, so here at PSX Place, this is where the official 4.87.1 HFW thread is. You can just scroll down a bit and the download link is right here. Down in the description, I will provide links for the thread as well as a link to download the HFW itself. So you can just download it from the description if you want. Now, once you've downloaded that file, it's a zip. You can go ahead and open it. There are two files here. This folder is just the checksum of the pub file. Again, I'm assuming you know your way around a PC and how to check the pub files uh, MD5 checksum. But if you get it from PSX Plays, you should be fine. I really don't worry about it. I've never had an issue with it because I always get it from PSX Plays. But if you want to check it, you can. Now, what you need to do is go to your FAT32 storage USB. You can have other files on there. It doesn't matter. But make sure on the root of it, you have a folder called PS3 all uppercase, then go into it, make a folder called update, all uppercase, then go into that. And that is where you will put this pup file right into that folder. So go ahead and drag it there or extract it to there. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this. Okay, and now that the file has transferred, we need to rename it. So let's go ahead and all we need to do is remove all of this. And it should be called ps 3 updatpub There will be no E after the T. Again, make sure it's all uppercase. And that's it. It's ready to go. So it's in the update folder, which is in the PS3 folder on the root of your FAT32 USB. Now it's time to go ahead and head on over to the PS3. Put the USB device into any one of your USB ports on your PS3 and then fire it up. Let me go ahead and set everything up and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so here I am at my PS3. I decided to do it this way. That way I can just keep recording audio and visuals continuously, even when the PS3 screen goes blank. So you can see everything that's happening. All right, so once you put that USB into your PS3, go over to system update, make absolutely sure again that you are not logged into your PSN account. Go to system update, select update via storage media. And then you will see 4.87.1 or whatever current HFW is out. 
you'll see it there. Now, I've already installed it in my system. I recommend you install it twice. Even Mr. Mario recommends this. The PS3 does retain some information about whatever firmware you installed last. So when you do this twice, it just ensures that everything is on the current HFW. You don't have to do it twice. You could just really do it once, but it's what I strongly recommend that you do. He recommends it as well, just to ensure again that everything is up to date on 4.87.1 or whatever current HFW is that you're installing. So once you select yes and you install it, when you're brought back to the XMB, just install it one more time. Again, you don't have to, but it's recommended. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to install it again. And then once we're done, we'll come back to the XMB. Okay, so once you're back at the XMB, we're gonna scroll down to system settings. When you're at system settings, scroll down to system information. Oh, I'm sorry. First, come here to display what's new and ensure that this is off. Once you've done that, then scroll all the way down to system information. You want to confirm that you are on, in this case, 4.87, which we are. Let's go ahead and get out of this. Now we're going to head on over to our browser and we are going to go into the browser. So there's a few things we need to do here. First thing is I recommend you hit triangle and then what you wanna do is head on up to tools and then you're going to scroll down to the home page, and you are going to set your home page to use blank. So select that and then you will select OK. Once you've done that, press triangle again. You're going to go ahead back into tools you're going to go down to confirm browser close and make sure this is set to off. Once you've done that, go ahead and press triangle yet again. And now we are going to delete a few things. You are going to delete cookies. You're going to delete search history, the cache and delete authentication information. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's start off with the cookies. It really doesn't matter what order you do them in, just make sure you do all four. So let me go ahead and take care of that right now. Okay, so once you've deleted those four things, we're ready to move on to the next step. All right, so after you're done with all that, you should be at your blank page. Go ahead and press start and we are going to type ps3exploit.com the way you see it on your screen. I've already gone to it, so I have it here, and I also have it bookmarked as well. So once you have that, go ahead and press start to go to the site, and then you should be there. I suggest you bookmark it, just hit select, and then pick add to bookmarks, and it'll be there, and you can see I've already added it. All right, so once we are here, you're going to head on up to where it says PS3 Hen, and we're going to select the alternate method. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and once you've done that, it should say initializing here, and then it should move relatively quick. Now, sometimes you may have to do this once or twice. There we go. And then you should get a little block of instructions that'll pop up here in a minute. Okay, and there. And so now it tells you how to install Hen. You need to close the browser, open Remote Play, and quit immediately. A new icon will be displayed that will say Install Hen, select it. And then after Hen installs, you just need to reboot. So let's go ahead and let's do that now. When we go into Remote Play, as soon as you see the words pop up, you're going to immediately hit Circle. So let's go ahead and hit Circle here so we can get out of this. Okay, let's head on over to Remote Play. Oops, my bad. Went to the wrong place. Press X. And as soon as we see the words pop up, we're going to hit Circle. Okay, now you unfortunately didn't get to see it because I hit Circle really quick before Elgato got to record it. All right, so now when it comes back to the XMB, there's install hen. Let's go ahead and select it with X and press X again, and it should download it.
and then it is going to install. All right, install is complete. So let's back out of this. And at this point, we need to reboot our system. So I'm gonna go ahead, turn the system off, and then I'll turn it back on and we'll see if Hen has installed. All right, so I went ahead and rebooted. We should see that Hen logo popping up in the right hand side here. There we go. So that means Hen is installed and we should see it on our XMB. And it should be right there. And there we go. Now all we need to do is enable it. I'm just going to give it a few seconds just to let some extra stuff load in the background. Let's go ahead and select it and enable Hen. And it should show us in the upper right hand corner that it's on 3.0.2. And if this ever freezes up on you, there we go. And it should also load up Webman Mod. And there is Webman Game. So Webman Mod is loaded. And of course, you can update that manually uh, later on to a more updated version if you want through a package file. So if this ever freezes up on you when you're loading Hen and you can't turn off the system via the power button, just unplug it from the back, wait a few seconds, plug it back in, boot it up, and then try it again. Sometimes if it fails, it will also say that Hen failed and it will just automatically reboot your system and then you could try it again as well. So if you had a PS3 that never had Hen on it, you should have it on there now. And if you had a previous version of Hen, you should now be fully updated. So that's pretty much it, guys. You know, I appreciate you watching. If you found anything here informative, helpful, useful in any way, or you want to throw some love or appreciation towards the channel, the best way to do any of that stuff is just to hit that like button. Maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit that notification bell because sometimes some big news comes out and I don't have time to make a video or maybe I won't make a video about it but I want you guys to have the news quickly so by hitting that notification bell whenever I make those uh, YouTube community post things you'll get notified and then you can check out the information and see if it's something that's useful to you whether it be something regarding PS4, PS5, Switch, PS3 or any other platform. All right so thanks a lot for watching guys much love going out to everyone out there be careful be safe but have fun and we will see you on the next one.